Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to do a very simple Halloween design. And so what I have on the nails right now is this color from Sally Hansen InstaDry. It's called Heat Flash. There's two coats of that. And then I'm going to be stamping over those using this plate from Cheeky. It's one of those larger, doo -doo, larger plates. It's letter D. It was in a set of three. Um, and we're going to use this image here. This is not traditionally a spider web type image, but we're going to use it as that because I think it's going to do a really good job. And I'm going to stamp that using this color from Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. It's called Gleb City. It's a really foil, sparkly kind of silver. And I am going to, and I'm doing that purposely because you know how spider webs sort of sparkle on their own, you know? That's why I am wanting these webs to sparkle. I'm going to scrape. And as you can see, it's there. I'm going to place that over the entire nail. See? So it has sort of a spiderweb look. I'm going to do that over all of my nails. Okay, so here they are on all the fingers. And now what we're going to do is create an accent nail just by stamping a spider. So I'm going to use this plate from MASH. It's MASH plate 38. We're going to use this nice big black spider. Well, it's going to be black. <laughs> here is the color I'm going to use, Wet n Wild, Wild Shine, Black Cream. And we're going to place him on my nail, going probably at an angle. Whoop, there it is. Now we're going to make that spider more three-dimensional by using a black rhinestone. This is a nail wheel from Cheeky. There's all different color um, rhinestones with different shapes and stuff too, but these are just round black rhinestones. So the way I always do that, I'm going to put just a teeny bit of, whoops, uh, top coat. It wasn't quite so teeny. Let me just spread that around just a little bit. And then I'm going to pick up one of these rhinestones. And I'm going to place that right smack dab in the middle of the body. Okay. And what it will do is it gives that, it really makes the spider kind of pop up off the, off the nail. So it's pretty cool. And if you wanted to add spiders to other nails, you can. I just kind of like this because it just sort of grabs your attention there. Blah, spider! <laughs> okay, so then what we're going to want to do is put top coat over the entire nail, being gentle as you brush over the rhinestone so that you don't move it out of place. Okay, and then put top coat over the rest of the nail. And there you have it. All top coated and shiny with our scary black spider. <laughs> so that is it for this one. It's another super easy one to achieve. So get out your stamping stuff and give it a try. That's it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.